How many of you have been up to Yosemite National Park? You know where that is? Up in the Sierra Mountains? They have, they have a big mountain up there called Half Dome, and they have uh, waterfalls that fall thousands of feet down into the valley. It's a beautiful place. You need to go there. Take your mom and dad tell you to take you up there someday. Well, this story is about a friend of mine who went there and camped out with his son one summer. And they had their equipment all loaded in the back of their truck, and they pulled up into their camping spot and getting ready to unload the truck. And the dad says, but let's just wait a minute. And they looked across the river. Merced River runs down through there. And there was a big bear on the other side of the river. And he was just looking around. He wasn't doing anything. And he said, let's wait and see what that bear is going to do. Well, across the road from them was a family that had been there for probably a week, several days anyway. They had their laundry hanging up on the, on the, on the wires they had strung between the trees. And they had their food all over the table. And the kids were playing and having a good time. Well, the father and the son are watching this bear, and all of a sudden the bear puts his foot in the water and starts across the river, coming to where they were camped out. And Dad says, you know what, maybe we better get back in the truck until that bear decides what he's going to do. So they did. They got back in their truck, and they're watching this bear. So the bear comes across the river, comes around their campsite and smelling for food, anything he could find. You know, bears, are they like to eat. Because, you know, they sleep during the winter. Did you know that? Yeah, they sleep. So they have to fatten up like, like me during the summer so they can sleep during the winter. Anyway, this old bear, he's looking for food. And across the road, this family, and they're all out there playing and having a good time. They didn't see the bear out right of way. Soon the father looked up and he saw the bear. So he got his kids and he put them in the car. He says, get in the car real quick. They left all their food out on the table, and everything was just like they had left it. And and this bear starts across the road to their campsite. And they're in the car, and the father says, Oh, no, we forgot something. You see, they had brought along one of their pets, and they forgot to get the pet. And it was a little tiny kitten, very small, just a little tiny kitty. And they, he told, the father told the kids, said, get down in the bottom of the car and don't look. Don't look out the window or anything. Well, this bear is coming across the road. This kitten spotted the bear. And so he walked out in the middle of the road to meet this bear. <laughs> and the bear sticks his nose down in that cat. You know how little kittens are. And he sticks his nose down there. And that little kitten said, And that bear raided up on his hind legs like this and turned around and back across the road he went, back across the river and disappeared into the woods. Now, the same thing happens to you. When the devil comes and tells you you should do something or you should do this or that, if you resist him, he'll flee from you. If you tell him, no, I'm not going to listen to you, get behind me, he'll leave you alone. Just like that bear left that little kitten alone. You believe that? Yeah. That's my story for today. Resist the devil and he'll flee from you. Claim God's promises and he'll faithfully, faithfully bring you through. So you guys have a good Sabbath. And remember that story. Be sure. and Tell Satan to get behind you. Flee from him and he'll leave you alone. Have a good Sabbath. Thank you for coming up.